This is Ring and Prayer. I am your host, Holly. Good to have you joining us tonight. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias, and on this wise showed he himself. There were together Simon Peter, and Thomas called Didymus, and Nathaniel of Cana of Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee, and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter says unto them, I go a-fishing. They say unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth, and entered into a ship immediately, and that night they caught nothing. But when the morning was come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Then Jesus says unto them, Children, have you any meat? They answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and you shall find. They cast, therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. Therefore that disciple whom Jesus loved says unto Peter, It is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girt his fisher's coat on to him, for he was naked, and did cast himself into the sea. And the other disciples came in a little ship, for they were not far from land, but it was, but as it were, two hundred cubits dragging the net with fishes. As soon then as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there, and fish laid thereon and bread. Jesus says unto them, Bring of the fish which you have now caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to land full of great fishes. A hundred and fifty and three, and for all there were so many, yet was not the net broken. Jesus says unto them, Come and dine. And none of the disciples durst ask him, Who art you? Knowing that it was the Lord. Jesus then comes and takes bread and gives them, and fish likewise. This is now the third time that Jesus showed himself to his disciples after that he was risen from the dead. So when they had dined, Simon Peter So when they had dined, Jesus says to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, love you me more than these. He says unto him, Yea, Lord, you know I that I love you. He says unto him, Feed my lambs. He says to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, love you me? He says unto him, Yea, Lord, you know that I love you. He says unto him, Feed my sheep. He says unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, love you me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Love you me? And he said unto him, Lord, you know these things. All thanks, you know that I love you. Jesus says unto him, Feed my sheep. Verily, verily, I say unto you, When you were young, you girt yourself, and walked where you would. But when you will be old, you will stretch forth your hands, and another should gird you, and carry you where you would not. This spoke he, signifying by what death he should glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he says unto him, Follow me. Then Peter, turning about, sees the disciple, whom Jesus loved, following, which also leaned on his breast at supper, and says, Lord, which is he that betrays you? Peter, seeing him, says to Jesus, Lord, and what shall this man do? Jesus says unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to you? Follow you me. Then meant this abroad, then meant this saying abroad among the brethren, that that disciple should not die. Yet Jesus said not unto him, He shall not die, but if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple which testifies of these things, and wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. And there are also many other things which Jesus did. 
the witch if they should be written every one I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen. Thank you for listening and good night.